and welcome to our Got okay. Good evening and welcome to our uh, Village of Monroe Board of Trustees meeting on January 17th. If we can all stand for the pledge, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Welcome everyone in the audience. Appreciate your attendance. Um, first order of business, I just want to take a roll call this evening. Uh, uh, Trustee Berenger is out. Uh, here. Trustee Ferraro is in. Trustee Carl. Here. Trustee O'Connor. And Mayor Dwyer is in. Okay. Very good. Um, okay, next order of business is a, I need a resolution to uh, accept the department <coughs> reports as submitted by the department heads. Uh, if everyone's had a chance to read through them, can I get a motion? Carl will make the motion. O'Connor will second. Uh, just some discu yep. quick discussion. Um, sure. In the future on the DPW report, sure. when they're getting called out for snow uh, snow events, sure. is there any way they can track their salt tonnage and put that on their report so we can kind of follow along with that? Yeah, let me just, uh, I don't have it here at all. Let me just see in their report. Uh, it's got in here, um, you know, that they had two snow events. I think it was number the reports. three snow, number 16. If we can have them put the, you know, the, the, the uh, you know, the tonnage. Yeah. Can I, excuse me a second. Can I modify this report or put a note on it? No, I can't, right? Uh, no. Do you want my paperwork to write on it? No, no, but if you would just make a note on it. Where did we get that? Uh, just to add. Uh, so, yeah, all right, great. All right, so we're good there, Trustee Carl. We're going to add that into the uh, uh, order of minutes. I just hold on one second. I'm just helping Mar Marty here. I just had one other thing. Yep. And hopefully we can tie it in together. I'll just take um, this meeting. Okay. And, and here's your report. Okay. I'll, I'll just put it. Um, the reservoir now is, is minus five and a half inches. We have put water restrictions on, and we haven't formally taken them off, and I've spoken to the uh, chief plant operator. Uh, I think you were involved in that uh, yeah. communication that uh, he feels that we can lift the water restrictions. Okay. And it's up to the board to do that as we put the water restrictions on. So does the board have any feeling about it? Uh, I, I happened to be up there just the other day. If where I walked the last time, I, I'd be under, I'd be in water. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. So I, I'm comfortable with lifting it. Done. Yeah. 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 I wonder if there's any reason yeah. to keep them on. So. Okay. All right. So what we'll do is uh, we'll be down into the meeting. Uh, Kim, I'm just going to ask you maybe what we'll do is uh, if council is agreeable. We could take it under new business. Okay, so under F, Kim? Yeah. We just put down, uh, we, we, not rescind, would it be rescind? No. Lift water restrictions. No, just lift. Yeah, yeah. Just lift. Uh, lift the restrictions. And uh, does anybody have the date by chance? That we put it in? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I don't know. I have it on my Okay, fair yeah. enough. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, good. Okay, well, so we had a uh, first and a second. Call the question. Ferraro, aye. Carl, aye. O'Connor, aye. Dwyer, aye, so carried. Next order of business is uh, I need a, a motion to accept the uh, meeting minutes as submitted by the clerk for the January 3rd meeting. Carl will make that motion. O'Connor will second. Call the question. Ferraro, aye. Carl, aye. O'Connor, aye. Dwyer, aye, so carried. Next order of business, uh, budget transfers and modifications as submitted by the treasurer. Can I get a motion? Yeah, Carl will make that motion. Second. O'Connor will second. Any discussion? Yeah, it looks like it's all grant monies and stuff that yeah. We, yeah. we've gotten in. Yeah. So it is, yep, okay. Call the question. Ferraro, aye. Carl, aye. O'Connor, aye. Dwyer, aye, so carried. Next order of business is the uh, resignation Stand by one second. <coughs> yep. Uh, 
Uh, resolved that the uh, Board of Trustees accept the resignation of Zoning Board of Appeals member Jason Zawinski, Zawinski, effective January 10 of 2023. The Board of Trustees wish Jason well in his future endeavors. I need a motion to accept the resignation. Carl will make that motion. Second. Ferraro second. Call the question. Ferraro aye. Carl aye. O'Connor aye. All right. And we thank Jason for his time on the board. It was very important work that he was part of, so we appreciate that. And uh, next order of business is the appointment of Elizabeth Doherty to the um, Zoning Board of Appeals as a full voting member. Uh, resolve the Board of Trustees accept the recommendation of Zoning Board of Appeals Chairman Paul Baum and appoint Elizabeth Doherty, 23 Bridge Street, Monroe, New York, to the Zoning Board of Appeals member to fill a vacant position created by the resignation of Jason Zawinski, fulfilling his unexpired term expiring on March 31, 2026. I need a motion to accept the uh, nomination from Paul Baum. Ferraro will make a motion. Second. Carl will second. Call the question. Ferraro aye. Carl aye. O'Connor aye. Do I rise to carry? Thank you. Okay, uh, I don't have anything on the old side of business. On the new side of business, uh, I have uh, first item is the introduction of local law number one of 2023, the override of the tax levy limiting the est uh, limit established by the General Municipal Law 3-C and scheduling of the public hearing. Be resolved that an introductory local law titled a local law to override the tax levy limit established by General uh, Municipal Law 3-C is hereby introduced by Mayor Dwyer before the Board of Trustees of the Village of Monroe, the County of Orange, State of New York, and be it further resolved that copies of the aforesaid proposed local law be laid upon the desk of each member of the Board of Trustees and be it further resolved that the Board of Trustees shall hold a public hearing on said proposed local law at the Village Hall, 7th Stage Road, Monroe, New York, at 7 p.m. on February 7, 2023, and be it further resolved that the Village Clerk shall cause, publish, and cause to be published a public notice in the official newspaper of the Village of Monroe, no later than five days prior thereto. I need a motion to introduce the local law number one and the scheduling of the public hearing. Carl will make that motion. Second. Connor will second. Call the question. Ferraro aye. Carl aye. O'Connor aye. Dwyer aye, so carried. Uh, next order of business is the authorization to advertise for the Zoning Board of Appeals vacancies. These would be the two alternate members that sit uh, on the board uh, as alternate members should a uh, full voting member uh, not be available or cannot fill his uh, requirements. Uh, the Village Board of Monroe Board of Trustees is currently seeking applicants to fill two vacancies on the Zoning Board of Appeals for alternate members. The ZBA meets on the second Tuesday of the month at 8 p.m. Interested Village of Monroe residents should send their resume no later than February 17, 2023 to Mayor Neil Dwyer, care of the Village Clerk, 7th Stage Road, Monroe, New York, 109450. Uh, and be a further resolved, the Board of Trustees authorize the Village Clerk to advertise via electronic media to fill the two vacancies in the Zoning Board of Appeals for alternate members. I need a motion to authorize the Village Clerk to advertise. Ferraro will make that motion. Carl will second. Any discussion? Call the question. Ferraro aye. Carl aye. O'Connor aye. Dwyer aye, so carried. Next order of business is uh, water uh, penalty waiver. Trustee Carl. Uh, yes, um, we did have a request um, from water account. Let's find it. Maybe. Yeah, I, I got it here. Um, request from water Town Water Account Customer Number 1003 uh, is asking for consideration for the penalties which amounted to $969.42 be waived due to a tragic death in the family. Along with asking for the penalties be waived, he is requesting a payment plan. Um, I did have a long conversation with the gentleman the other day. Um, it, was, it, was, it was a tough conversation. Um, what we, I talked to him about and, um, you know, I want to bring before the board and I know historically we do not waive the penalty fees. Um, in this case, I would like to see um, a payment structure. He wanted to do it over 12 months. Uh, he would be willing to do four monthly payments. Um, consecutive months? Consecutive months uh -huh. uh, to pay this down. Um, if we were to waive um, the penalty. He had some uh, unforeseen expenses, um, you know, 
the funeral costs and whatnot, and he was in the grocery and they put it to shape. So I, I, I told him <coughs> I, would, I would bring that before the board, and uh, I will uh, certainly, if you want me to read this into the minutes, I don't want to do this. I just. Uh, yeah, just read into right. minutes <coughs> and then okay. the board can. All right, resolve the Board of Trustees waives the request customer number 10033 for the penalties assessed to the town water account number 10033 in the amount of $969.42 due to a tragic death in the family. Um, be it further resolved, the Board of Trustees approves the payment plan for town water account number 10033, giving him the opportunity to pay his outstanding balance of $1,000 $448.69 over a period of four months with equal monthly payments of $362.17 due on the last day of each month with the balance to be paid in full by May 31st, 2023. The regular quarterly bill must also be paid by its due date. Otherwise, the installment agreement will be in default and the full payment plan plus all cease penalties will be due at the time water service will be terminated immediately. And um, I would uh, put that into a form of a motion. I have a second. O'Connor will second. Any discussion from any of the board members? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yeah, I think given the situation and, and, and the and yeah. you know, yeah. circumstances. In my years, in my years yeah. here, it's the first time we've Basically. run into yeah. this. So, right. so I'm on the same page. Okay, so we had a first and second. Call the question. Ferraro, aye. Carl, aye. O'Connor, aye. Fly, aye. So carried. Thank you. Okay, uh, next order of business uh, is the Orange County Tourism Grant of 2023, the application authorization. Resolve the Board of Trustees authorized Mayor Dwyer to submit the application for funding through the Orange County Tourism Grant Program of 2023 to be applied towards the fees paid to the musicians who perform in the Village of Monroe Summer Concert Series in Crane Park. I need a motion to uh, authorize the Mayor to uh, sign for the application. I'll make that motion. Second? Carl will second it. Any discussion? Call the question. Ferraro, aye. Carl, aye. O'Connor, aye. Dwyer, aye, so carried. Thank you. Okay, uh, next order of business is the uh, uh, agreement between RBT CPAs uh, LLP. Resolve the Board of Trustees authorized Mayor Dwyer to sign the agreement with RBT CPA LLP of 11 Racket Road, Newburgh, New York, 12550 as the independent order for the Village of Monroe's fiscal year ending May 31, 2022, in the amount not to exceed $25,000. Now, uh, just a heads up, uh, I think that amount is incorrect because I think in the 24, okay? So if you could just uh, make that note. So I'm gonna make that reflected in the minutes now. And then secondly, uh, we had a three-year agreement that has since lapsed. This is a one-year agreement, uh, so, um, that's it, just for the period ending. Exactly, okay, so just so the board understands, there's no long term, uh, I think at some point we're gonna do an RFP and we'll go back out again. Uh, but for the purposes right now of getting this done and getting it done timely, uh, it's actually less than it was during the agreement. During the agreement it was 25 and then 28. So this is actually a pretty very fair, fair, fair price uh, and I think we should move forward and get it going. So uh, I need a motion. Carl will make that motion. O'Connor will second. Okay, for a discussion, call the question. Ferraro, aye. Carl, aye. O'Connor, aye. Ferraro, aye, so carried, thank you. Uh, then this a second motion on the same thing. Uh, so this firm uh, gives us a fixed amount for the audit for the period of uh, ending May 31. Should there be anything above and beyond the scope of work that's created through the audit, uh, there'll be uh, actually a second uh, approval here which uh, be a further resolve, the Board of Trustees authorized Mayor Dwyer to sign the agreement with RBT for any additional service fees required pertaining to the audit. Uh, what I don't know, was there a schedule placed in everybody's electronic? I have it right here. Okay, yep, all right, so I wanna make sure everybody's on the same page there. But so it does say 2022, but it's for the, it, that's for the 2022-23 fiscal year? It's for the, no, Is this for it's 21-22. 21-22, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. So this is, uh, and this happened last year. So we had a situation where there was some additional cost mm -hmm. and we had to go back and forth until we finally settled on a number and 
and everything was okay at that point, but this is a secondarily, so. Are uh, these the same people that were late in getting the numbers yeah. to us or getting processed? Or yes, like yeah, it was, Marty, and, and the reason uh, that was given to me then was because of COVID, they weren't coming on site, so they would make a list of what they wanted, and then the uh, treasurer was supposed to collect that information and then scan it and send it over to them, and there seemed to be a disconnect as to how that was happening, okay. timely or otherwise, and that became a real you know, bit of conversation. So at the end of the day, we, 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 we got it resolved, okay. but you're absolutely right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I need a motion to uh, approve that additional uh, fee potentially for this audit. Uh, Carl will make that motion. Second. O'Connor will second. Call the question. Ferraro, aye. Carl, aye. O'Connor, aye. Dwyer, aye. So carried. Okay, the next order of business is Trustee Carl uh, uh, lifting the water restriction. If you just give me something real simple, dimple. Yep. Um, anything you want to say? Anything I want to say. Yep. Uh, due to the fact our reservoir is, has come up substantially, we're only down five, five inches, five and a half inches, um, where this past summer we were down over 30 inches. Right. Um, at this time, I make a motion that we um, lift the the water restrictions, although this is our low t low consumption time of year, but nonetheless, I think uh, at this point we can lift the restrictions. Uh, our reservoir is just about full, but okay, we got to be cognizant of the fact that uh, how long it took that reservoir to recover this year. So we got to keep that in, keep that in mind going forward. And that's based upon your water your water department. Uh, yep, Re Ernie. Ernie, uh, I spoke with uh, Chief Operator, and he feels uh, we can go ahead and lift the restriction. Okay, so uh, you put that to motion. Put that in form of a motion. O'Connor will second. O'Connor, second. second. Yeah. Okay, call the question. Ferraro, aye. Caroline. O'Connor, aye. Dwyer, aye. So carried. Uh, I just have a few things uh, that I want to go over real quick. So, uh, as we had talked about uh, or discussed at the last meeting, uh, we talked about uh, I was going to be going out to do some work. Um, in particularly, we were talking about some of the buses, the private bus companies that are operating and some of the concerns. So uh, I went out and met with uh, Chief Guzman, our chief of police, uh, the town supervisor and his uh, subordinates, uh, Councilman, uh, Councilwoman uh, Dory Hool and Councilwoman Mary Bingham, uh, the school district, the superintendent, uh, Kevin, uh, Kevin. Um, Rodriguez? No, Cahill. Oh. Patrick, sorry. Patrick Cahill. Blank there. Uh, Patrick Cahill, uh, we had the owners of uh, several of the bus companies that did come, and that was wonderful. And uh, we also had the village of Harriman. So it was a great comprehensive meeting. A lot of things were discussed. A lot of concerns were brought to the table in the forefront. And I think everybody <laughs> came out of that meeting feeling like as if um, uh, there were going to be certain things that were going to be looked at in so far as the operations of the bus company, the equipment that they have on their buses. And uh, we're, everybody's concerned. We all agree that uh, we're concerned about every child in this, in this community, in the town of Monroe. So uh, based upon that, uh, we had uh, really substantive conversation. So it went well is what I want to bring out. A couple of things that did come up is that everybody that operates a bus has to have a CDL for that specifically. And they have to do 30 hours of training a year with two refreshes, one in the spring and one in the fall. That's by law. Nobody gets away from that. Everybody has to do it. So that was good to hear. Um, uh, I think one of the major pieces uh, that everybody talks about is the speed. And uh, they also have uh, these devices on their buses where it actually GPSs their location, their actions on the bus, and they're all recorded. And uh, the bus companies are willing to uh, cooperate and work with the municipalities and the, uh, the police agencies in making sure that these um, um, operators are all operating within the law. Uh, I brought up a really uh, interesting point, and it seemed to be uh, everybody was interested in it. I suggested that we have a portal so that when people have uh, concerns and they call it in uh, to the municipality, whether it's the town of Monroe, the village of Monroe, village of Harriman, the PD, wherever, that we actually log in the call. A lot of times we'll say, oh, it was, it was bus A company and bus 203, and they were on this road at this time. Well, that could all be put into a portal, and then that case 
would then become a real uh, event, and then from that we can actually uh, dispense with whatever needs to get done. So that was a real, uh, real good thing to have, and I think that we're all embracing that as well. So there's a few pieces along with that that are going to be implemented. Um, the um, Ketlin has a question. Yeah. The GPS data, will they make that available? <coughs> they will. Oh. Yeah. So that was really, uh, really good. Uh, we all agree that we need to be on the same, on the f same information, uh, same driver procedures, same equipment uh, on every bus, the same compliance reports, uh, uh, furnishing uh, the uh, certifications of all the drivers is going to be uh, something that, because obviously what's happening is the, the school district is paying or contracting out these private agencies. Right. So as a, as a subcontractor, they're also responsible for everything that they do. And uh, so everybody recognized it. It was really, um, it, was a, it was a very good meeting. I was very, uh, very happy to see and, and be a part of that. So um, I just wanted to share that. Um, I don't know if I had anything else really. Uh, I don't think so. Council? Okay. Board, anything? Yeah, just uh, I'm working on the 4th of July fireworks already. Um, so I'll, I'll have, uh, hopefully we're shooting, no pun intended. Right. Um, we're looking at uh, Sunday night, July the 2nd, with a rain date of Monday night, July the 3rd. So stay tuned. Um, I've had communication with uh, two, uh, two vendors. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll see where it takes us, but uh, I should have everything for the next meeting. So okay, great. Secure a contract. Director Ferraro, you have anything? Uh, and I also. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, we do have somebody that's willing to um, uh, help help with the uh, with the funding of that. So that that okay. that name will be announced Stay later. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Last year it was Lorraine Farms. We have somebody else who wants to step up and do the same thing Good. Nice. for the additional uh, five thousand dollars. So wonderful. Very nice. Uh, <coughs> Director Tana, you have anything? The only thing is, I think I told you this oh. is noticing. People are continuing to uh, bark or liberally in front of Stop and Shop, in particular, and other places. But it seems like every time I go to Stop and Shop, they park on this great zone, mm -hmm. causing a lot of problems. People are gunning it to get past that one that's in their lane. You know, people are recognizing it or not, and uh, it just seems like it's becoming so frequent. Yep. Yeah, it's it's a problem. And I'll say something, and they look at me like I have five foreheads. Imagine it would. Yeah. yeah. Who are you? I know. Yeah. It's tough. Uh, Kim, did I have anything else that I needed to uh, bring up? Is there something else that I'm not thinking about? I feel like I'm missing something. The water, the water bill situation, you're going to meet with the school district, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Because if you asked me to follow up on that, I did. But then you said to hold off because yeah. you're meeting with them. So yeah, I want to get all our ducks in a row. But that, w that information will be, be shared with the board um, uh, once we come with resolution. Do you have that by chance? Yeah. So I did have a matter I wanted to bring up. Uh, so as everybody knows, we've been in ongoing litigation uh, uh, with uh, uh, a parcel. No, this is actually authorizing this company to do that engineering. Is that okay? I really think you should speak with them. Okay. And then we'll come back and report. Okay. All right, so I'm going to hold on to this second. Okay. Okay. All right, I think uh, that's all I have. That's all you have, okay? Anyone from the public wish to speak, sir? Oh, yeah. You could come on up to this mic if you would. Hello. Good Hello. evening. Good evening. Uh, just wanted to talk about um, our property. Sure. It was adjacent to village property. Okay. And um, some of the community uh, are, are using the village property to as, as a, a way to get out onto to Freelance Street there to, you know, gotcha. go to synagogue and stuff. Okay. And um, they walk across part of our our property. So Got it. I've been talking to them and asked them not to do it. And the one day the guy told me, call the police. So. Okay. Um, but then two days ago, one of them knocked on the door. My wife was home and I wasn't there. And he said he wanted to put a fence on our property at his expense, you know. So my wife said, no, that's right. I'm not going to allow that. What good is it going to be to to, to, like that. to her? 
I see. So then she noticed those activity down there. I went down and took pictures. It's a small piece of uh, chain link fence, but it, it's on the it's on the bank of it. Do, do, the road is banked there. Yes. And I don't know if the village owns the bank, or is that the highway? I, I don't know. No, it I does. That's the we own that, I believe. Oh, oh, the village owns that too. Sure. Oh, so so it's on village property, and then they got poles, and. Uh, they screwed pieces of wood to different trees to carry the string across okay. and, and up the back of okay. that, that first house at the bottom of our property. Okay. So, uh, the pictures that we had, uh, I don't, they're not they open don't, here. They don't, they don't yeah. come up on these. Yeah, I've got it here. Why didn't mind <laughs> what he's talking about. Okay, yeah. I am saying it's not available. <laughs> I do have it. I stand corrected. Wait, hold on a second. Do you have a packet? <coughs> These are what he's talking about. Too. The they're on the they're on the email. They're not on the. Um I got it. Yep. Got it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So that's, right. uh, that's village property? Yeah. I believe that's village Just property. Yeah, yeah mine's sideways. Marty's as well. Yeah, Marty's got it raised. So I took a picture of the oak tree I was telling you about. Yes, yes, yes. You can see it's rotten at the bottom there. Yeah. So I think it dropped a few branches already. Yeah, the whole tree is rotten. <coughs> the whole tree is rotten, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's dangerous, that's, but it's, you know, as long as nobody's walking near it, it's going to be all right. I don't think it's right. a danger to the road. It's not a threat to the to the road, because it's in a bit, you know. Who owns that fence? I think that home. House? Yeah, that's that property owner. Yeah, that's so the property owner. So is the fence set back from the property line and does it need to go in there? I guess who would want to know? No. That's this is not the fence you're referring to though, correct? Uh, oh no, no, no. No, that's, that's another that's fence. That's the fence that runs parallel with no, Freeland Street. It's yeah, probably about, about the pipe. It's probably about fifteen yeah. feet so off the road. Fence, uh, the fi like a four foot piece of chain link. That's okay. what I'm asking. That there's a there's a four feet piece of chain link chain link. Yeah, it's in one of those pictures. Do you mind taking a peek at that? Yes, yeah. Okay. I did have a, uh, I was walking the Heritage Trail and I had a conversation with. Is there another picture? Okay. All right. How did you get those? Okay. All right, I'll tell you what, not a problem, Mr. Lindsay. If you could uh, send it to Kim as well, this way council could look at it, that would be helpful. Yeah. yeah just send it to the clerk whenever you can. Yeah. She'll pass it on to the attorney, and then we'll look at it, and then we'll, uh, we'll have somebody go out and take a look at the whole thing. Yeah, I see it. Yeah. I know the uh, hidden, it's definitely not the hidden, yeah. hidden Creek uh, Homeowners Association. I bumped into a couple guys that live in there. They're on the board, and there's there's the arrows on their property as well. And supposedly their their attorney was sending a letter okay. to have that removed, but they didn't know who they were sending the letter to. They, this thing just showed up one day. Well, who do you send the letters to? Well, that's what they. That was their problem. They didn't know who they. And then they were just going to go take the stuff down because it's actually on their property. When you come across that, that footbridge at a hidden creek to come up onto the Heritage Trail, mm -hmm. it, it's, it runs right on, it's right on their property. So. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So you'll send a picture. Okay. We'll worry about that. And then we'll, we're going to get over to the PDA and we'll, we'll do a site visit. Very good.
All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you much. Have a good evening. Uh, there was something else I wanted to bring up uh, while I was just kind of going over here a second. Um, I had sent out, we had another issue with 80 Winchester uh, regarding the, yeah. you know, the backyard, the pool, and, yes. and uh, Michelle Hieronymi had come in. So I wanted to be sure we, uh, we addressed that tonight. So I sent DPW out. Uh, they secured the fence, secured the gate, put the village gate locks on it. Um, so uh, it's now in a control position. Uh, I've also reached out to the Department of Health up in Goshen. Uh, they had violated them as well as we have, uh, and that information I think was sent on to you. I saw it. When was that sent? Today? Today. I don't know if anyone oh, you did Yes, I can. Okay, so council, you'll get it. So basically we're, we're trying to keep uh, in the same line. So 80 was violated by the building department on three different occasions. <coughs> Excuse me. And the Department of Health did as well. So uh, we're hoping to see that we can take it care. Right now, it's a, it's a full pool of water, full swimming pool, right to the top. And no cover. The cover's in the pool. It actually collapsed. So I just wanted the board and uh, Ms. Hieronymi and the public can know that as well. All right, so we're working on that. And then we've started our uh, program throughout the village, identifying um, areas where uh, prepare to stop signs to, uh, or additional with the stop sign devices, the stop bars. We took some uh, the stop bars in the village during the better weather we had and sprayed them. And uh, so we're going through comprehensively throughout <coughs> the village. Uh, I brought on a traffic consultant, uh, Kimberly Horn, who met with the chief while I was out. And uh, they've identified four intersections that they're going to do some homework on, uh, which is the stills, pine tree, stage, orange turnpike, the rentals, Orange, the Rye Hill slash mine slash uh, Reynolds yeah. intersection yep. is very, very bad. And um, I forget what the fourth one was. But they, they identified four, but they're going to look village wide. What, what, what makes them very bad? Uh, is it just the interaction yeah. of the traffic. Okay. okay. So <laughs> I don't know if you ever knew this, but, but at one time, Reynolds That's teed to Rye Hill Road. You had to make a left. If you wanted to get onto mine, you then made a right. So then when they do all this construction, they then realign the road, so now it's like a true intersection. Uh -huh. Four-way intersection. And right. boy, oh boy, what a mess. Yes. I mean, they've had uh, 22 accidents in, uh, in since 2016. Is that a four-way stop, right? Is it two-way no, stop? No, it's just two. No, it's just two-way. But the problem with the two-way is I'm at the stop now on uh, Reynolds looking to go toward mine. Uh -huh. I'm stopped. They're stopped. This is free traffic. Right. This side has got a grade where it drops off. It's tough to see over it. It's just a little knob, and it's just kind of <laughs> difficult. And if you look up the hill, you see nothing but trees. And those trees need to come down. There's no doubt in my mind about it. Uh, the sight distance, you just don't have it. And people are just coming down. So it, people are inching out, inching out, inching out. And then eventually, by the time they're in the intersection, there's a car on them. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a real problem. So they're going to assess it whether that means it's a four-way intersection, a uh, four-way stop, uh, whether it's better sight line clearance, uh, whether it's actually a device to go out there at some point, uh, it's a major problem. And, and, and uh, pine tree is no better. Oh, pine tree schools out. That's a mess. It could be there for a while. Yeah. So, uh, so that, was the, that was the other thing that's going on. So that's all I got. Uh, if we're good, I think we need to. Uh, Any we other have public? Anybody else in the public like to speak? Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, we need to go to assessment for the um, what, it, what it goes to. Okay, thanks. So I need this is just the okay, I need a motion to go into uh, executive session for the purposes of uh, attorney-client for litigation. Ferraro makes a motion. Roll Ferraro. counter, roll second. Call the question. Ferraro, aye. Carl, aye. Roll counter, aye. Roll counter, aye. So carried, thank you.